If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Perhaps your uncle was right about you. you well, I didn't want to say that. Oh, I do know when to stop. Perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. You know what, Crucio? Imagine I'm making this game for this GTA. Nah, it's already up. Where? Is it not that one? Hmm. This way. Yoink. Yoink. More crimson stuff. I keep getting crimson stuff. I'm not a Gryffindor. Stop giving me Gryffindor stuff. Stop. Stop. I don't want Gryffindor stuff. Lumos. Lumos. Oops. Wrong spell. Clever. Clever. Shut up, Ravenclaw. There it is. That's this is where I need to be. Now I can Akio that. Okay. okay. What does that give me? Elevator? Elevator. Woo! So is there items in here? Oh, that's where I need to be. Or that's that's the thing I need to grab. Let me grab that and then I'll go up the elevator. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. A drill to pierce the heavens? Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. We're building a drill to pierce the heavens. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. Shut up. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. This Ravenclaw talks too much. Revelia. You go up. Ah, level two. I don't have level two Alohomora. Wee. Guess we'll have to come back in the future. If I remember at all. Maybe I should be collecting those monkeys for the We're professor. Out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. Oh, welcome came sight, from? indeed. I should find more of those monkeys so I can get the, the higher levels of Alohomora. But I just, I can't remember where any of the monkeys are. I guess I could go explore the castle again. And just wander around every single room I'm able to get into at the moment. Monkey. Um, can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Gok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Get out of here, Amit. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, Hachu. Hachu. Hello. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. Oh, uh, Morganog? When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear. 
or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. Oh, the container we got at the beginning. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? Ah, so he pulled a Voldemort, got it. I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. Mutated I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gob, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. So, I kind of want there to be a war, because I want to fight in the Goblin War. I know the whole game's like we're trying to be preventing war or whatever, but like, I want to be a war hero. Give me the war. I will single-handedly put a stop to it. I won't stop it beforehand. I'll put a stop to it in the moment so that I'm a I become a war hero. I hope Professor Fitzgerald has confirmed what she needed to. I have to complete the next trial as soon as I can. If, um, I'll, I'll be like Dumbledore, I'll know about all the Horcruxes, but I'll do nothing to stop it, and uh, instead I'll raise a child for like 17 years uh, to do the work for me, and I'll take all the credit from Beyond the Grave. And then he'll name his children after me, which is completely undeserved, and is also kind of an ugly name for a child, but whatever. You'd be a war villain. I would be a war villain. I mean... Either, uh, dep either side would have me as a villain, depending on who I choose to side with. Unless I just kill off both sides. Am I my own third side? Am I, like, the evil version of Switzerland? Let me go to the map chamber. I'm just whatever the opposite of Switzerland is, going into war with like every single every every side available. I'm a free agent. Um 
is this? Something just happened. What happened? Okay, it's no big deal. Whee! Third painting. Wait, no, we already had this painting before. Welcome back. Cause she was the one that had to prepare stuff because uh, Professor Black might get in the way. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. So... <laughs> can I just commission Weasley to build a bomb? How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Can I just commission Weasley to build a bomb? And to, that'll distract Professor Black? That seems like a thing I should be able to do. How nice to see you, my young friend. This way. Wee. We gotta go break into the headmaster's office. Where'd he go? Where are you going? Oh, there's also that. Got it. Where'd that key go? Rebellion. Oh, over here. Got it. Some of these are faster than other ones are. This is level one. It's level one. I can do this Hello one. Mama. Toad! It's another toad door. There. Toad door. Where am I? Oh, there's another toad door. Dude, this 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 whole place is just full of toads. Leviosa. Yoink. Can I go out here? I cannot. I can take this other toad, though. Troll. Rebellion. Gear slots are full. Toad. There's another toad there. Oh? Why can I- Why am I allowed to be here? What is this? Alright, let me take this other toad. Chest! Unidentified back item. Alright. Mm, I wonder why- I wonder why it lets me be up here. I guess if I need to get the Akio page, but I already got the Akio page from down there, so it doesn't really make sense. Okay, we gotta take all the toads back to where we came from. Okay, is this where we came from? Yes. There we go. 
No more toads. No more toads. That's a lie, actually. I like the toads. I think the toad doors are really fun. Rebellion. It's level one. It's level two. So many level two doors. Is this level two? Level one. What do we have? Hello, There we go. Pavelio. Is that a penny farthing? Oh, is this the Muggle Studies classroom? It's the Muggle Studies classroom. Yeah, important Muggle artifact. Supposedly important to Muggle warfare, though most of Wizardkind find the prospect of wielding such a hefty weapon utterly head scratching. I don't like. Oh, there's a key over there. I don't, I don't like the fact that I can instantly walk into a classroom and know what it is, or know which which subject in school it is. I like I did that with the history of magic classroom the second I walked inside, and now with the Muggle study, like the second I go in these classrooms, I can already know what subject they're in, and I don't know what that says about me. Uh, it's upstairs. Excellent. Got it. I think I have 11 of these now? Maybe? How many do I have? I have 12. I need 4 more. Rebellion. Summoner's Court, match one. There's a thing out here. Ah, oh, the Christmas decorations are up! There's also paper here. Scorch marks. First known instance of an arguably successful casting of Bombarda. Date unknown, caster unidentifiable. Oh, that that kid's dead. The Christmas decorations are up. We should go check out the Great Hall. Made the mistake of leaving my potions homework in the common room. I'm convinced Peeves absconded with it. Perhaps I'll search or try and get into the Gryffindor common room. Okay, how do I get back to the Great Room? Or Great Great Hall? Did I? Key. Where are you going? Did it go up? I think it went up. Oh, they're talking about metamorphagus. Like like Nymphadora and Teddy. Go, 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 go. Got it. So I need three more of these keys. Have I been in here? Uh, this is the toad choir. I've already been in here. Pavelio. What was that sound? I'll leave it. Is this level one? Level one, I can do this one. I wonder if when I get to level two, Alohomora, the level one Alohomoras will be auto cast, or if I'll have to do this puzzle every single time. I mean, I guess it's not really a puzzle; it's more just maneuver the sticks to pick the lock. But it's still like, it'd be. Oh, I don't want to be in here. Confringo. Rebellion. I don't want to be in here. Oh, another puzzle door. We can do this one. Um, three, if that's four, I need a three. So zero, one, two, three, uh, dragon head. Yeah. And then two plus zero, one, two is four. 
So I need six. So nine, eight, seven, six. I need lizard. Lizard. Yeah? Yeah. Rebellion. Large rug and gray quidditch gloves. Still worse than the gloves I'm using. So then let me go back to... Let's go to the Great Hall. Everyone knows you can use one. Which is through... Through here? No. No, this isn't where I need to be. Where do I need to be? This way? Oh, here's the courtyard. There's Christmas decorations up in the courtyard. <gasps> Snowman! Confringo. Oh, he gets. I killed him! I have to- I have to teabag on his corpse. I have to just- Gone too far. It was a warning, okay? It's a warning to any other snowman. Any other snowmen have to learn their place, okay? They're not allowed to, not a, not allowed to do anything really. I can't believe the game had a thing pro. I guess they kind of knew that people would probably do that. Casually teabagging. Listen, I learned how to teabag in this game. I gotta do it. I'm gonna have. Oh, that's level two. Rebellion. Do the orb. Praise the orb. Worship the orb. Oh, I guess it's a toad. It's a little toad. Oh, is that, the, is that supposed to be his Patronus? Oh, it's a rat. It's a rat. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. Shut up, Ravenclaw. Oh. It's ominous! Hi! Where are you going? Oh. She's gonna stand in a corner? She's gonna s wh Out of all the places to come and sit, why would you choose here? Are we waiting for Sebastian? You good, buddy? This doesn't seem like a very live, laugh, love thing to do. You feeling all right? He's just sitting by himself on like the cold stone floor of a of a of like a hallway. Also, side note, I really like the fact that he has his uh, knee socks pulled all the way up and his pants cuffed just below his knees like he's a small Victorian child. I mean, technically, I guess he is a small Victorian child because it's the 1800s, but still, it's very funny to me. It looks like he's about to click his heels running down the streets, like, handing out newspapers. That's not even Victorian era. What am I... I am mixing up a lot of eras. 
How long does he sit here? How long of a cycle do you think they programmed for him? Because he's just walking around as an NPC. There has to be a reason he's here. Like, why Why would he- why would they put a, a, a known NPC? How long is he just gonna chill here? Wait! Since Ominous is blind and he uses like a detecting spell, disillusionment, like they can't see us, but he can't see us either way. Do you think his detecting spell still detects us when we're disillusioned? Do you think he still knows we're here? Oh, he's solid. I can't push him anywhere. Can I push these ones? Yeah, I can push these ones. Kind of. A little bit. I can bump it. Okay, if I bump into them enough, they just become transparent, apparently. Yeah. So those can be pushed. Ominous does not care. He can't be pushed. Confringo! Be careful, will you? Oh, he reacts. I want him to move. Doesn't seem like anything else affects him. Alright, he doesn't seem to be very affected by that anymore. I think he's actually just gonna chill here for a very long time. Avada Kedavra. I don't have Avada Kedavra yet. Spare a moment. I could use your help. Shut up, Ravenclaw. Why does he just sit here? I don't understand why they would have him just come sit in a random, like... This is so sad. Like, is he doing okay? You know what, we'll leave him be. We'll leave him be. Shut up, Ravenclaw. He broke up with his girlfriend. Bold of you to assume he has a girlfriend. If the fan- ooh, I'm getting some weird stuttering here. If the fandom is to be believed, he has Sebastian. Is this Sebastian? Oh, this is Sebastian. I was literally just talking about him. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Why did both of these NPCs just go and sit in the most desolate, like, isolated areas by themselves? 
I mean, at least Sebastian's sitting on a bench. Ominous was just sitting on the cold stone flooring. Alright, I'll, I'll leave him be. I'll leave him to it. Not gonna lie, I do that too. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented sleep hammer. I'll leave them to it. I'll leave them be. Hello? Do you have a monkey in your office? No, you do not. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered oh, yeah, his dead wife. Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Oh, is he going to help me distract the headmaster? All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look monkey. and sound like Professor Black. Wait, Wait, there is a monkey. Doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew. It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Oh, we just wasted the rest of this polo juice. Okay, I'm sorry. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. Polo juice isn't supposed that to taste hurt. Anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope. Who could be anywhere in the castle you might look for professor kagawa she's taken to badgering the poor elf about quidditch in the hopes that he can convince black to change his mind thus far unsuccessfully i see but what if professor black sees me leave him to me i shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the ministry in hogsmeade that should give you plenty of time thank you professor i suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber it's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. So... There is a monkey here. Also, hello, Anonymous. Welcome in. Uh, it's not letting me change time. It's not letting me change time. It's not letting me change time. Do I have to go outside his office? Huh. Why won't it let me change time? I want the monkey. There was a monkey. Maybe it's because I'm... Maybe it's because I look like Professor Black right now. I'll just have to remember that there's a monkey in Fig's office. Professor, a moment of your time, please. That was some weird stuttering. 
I'll have it turned off and I'll see I'll see if that helps with the cutscenes and everything. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I Oh, I um places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion and I well, I I did. I did. Yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. What potion would this be? Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Man, we're really blowing our now, cover. to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. We're, we're really making when it I obvious. What passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. Also heard the oh, it's Weasley. Approaching. Can we yell at Weasley as the headmaster? Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I hear you're getting quite good at those concoctions you brew. I say, why don't you bring a sample of your next batch to my office? I'd like to give it a try. What? Uh, yes, sir. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. On your way, Mr. Weasley. We're really blowing our cover. Who's Sharp? Uh, he's oh, the potions professor, my yeah. Diary. Oh, uh, do, 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 Great Hall? Great Hall's down here, isn't it? Uh, actually, let's just go where the waypoint tells us to go. We. Nope, it's still. It's still doing the stuttering. I'll try it like this, see if this works. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Out of my way, children. Professor Black, <gasps> how are you, sir? Hello. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Why are we being so rude to him? Also, I just realized Gaunt's kind of wearing, like, the color scheme of his clothes under his robe is very, like, Lloyd Forger. He's just Something wearing Lloyd's suit. Something wrong with Professor Black. Disney and Boobachuba pus. Mustache paste. Oh, okay, he just clipped the door. To the Great Hall we go! Stand proud, purebloods! <clears throat> the future is- Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But- the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they're fine now. 
the fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Uh, don't we have, like, a ton of Ministry connections? That would be unwise. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Dude, we're being so rude to all all of the NPCs. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? We're just... Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? We're using being Polyjuice as Professor Black to just be an asshole. I spent all night working on my history of magic essay. Almost fell asleep in Alright, let's go to the Great Hall. I want to see the Christmas decorations. It's the headmaster and he's coming this way. Oh, it's one of the Gryffindor NPCs. Out of my way, Gryffindor. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better! They still haven't fixed the, um... I guess there hasn't really been an update. I don't know why I keep expecting it to be fixed. Professor, I need to speak to you. No. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, <laughs> I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Are we oh, not well. going to talk I've about that? I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Do neither of these professors care about what just happened in the background? I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Just straight up called her Weasley. Oh, are, are neither of them going to address this? Leeway for Professor Fig? That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at this big old tree. Wait until Master sees what a wonderful job Scrope is doing. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. Take How him down the stairs. dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. I know this of one. Course. I know this one. I, uh... Master does remember it. Yes, of course I do. Of course I do. Always pure. It's pure blood forever. No. Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah! 
Yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. So is mine. Oh, oh very well. Uh, toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. Uh, <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. <coughs> oh, I burped. Oh, because the polish is pushing. Ahem. Attention, students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of... Oh, it interrupted the dialogue with the burp. Dude, as Professor Black, I can abuse my power and, and make the Great Hall Slytherin-themed. This is a good game. I can abuse my power. Look at that, as it should be. As it should be. Okay, please stop burping. Oop. I have to hide. Oh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. <coughs> Vic was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. See, I already knew that. I didn't need to ask Scrope for that. As soon as he said Black Family Motto, I was like, hell yeah. This is how the Great Hall should look all the time. Like, every every time of year. All, all day. 365 days of the year. I like how none of the students complained about the very obvious favoritism of Professor Black towards Slytherin. Then again, Dumbledore had very obvious favoritism towards Gryffindor, but whatever. Time to go whisper some propaganda into the into the gargoyle's ear. There's another puzzle door here. Revelio. Um, nine plus zero, one, two, three. Nine plus three is twelve. So I need seven. I need seven. So I need the the weird squid head thing. Weird squid head. And then 15 plus 2 is 17. Uh, 3 plus 3 is 6. So I need 6. So 9, 8, 7, 6. Lizard. I need lizard. Lizard. Got it. Oh, I have to get the monkey from Professor Fig's office. Alright, don't let me forget the monkey. Don't let me forget the monkey. I'll have to go back for it. Wee! Oop. I've apparently never Rebellion. been here before. There's a. Oh, I thought I saw a key cabinet up there. Troll armor? Troll armor. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. They're humming. 
Pavilio. You trying to scare me, loser? Centaur armor? Yoink. I heard glittering. Yeah, there it is. House elf armor. Oh no! They have the thing for the eyes! Look at that! It looks like a like a plague doctor mask. That's actually really cute. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Goblet of Fire Casket. Oh, wait, yeah, this is the trophy room where they kept all the trophies from the uh, Triwizard Tournament. Oh, it makes sense that it's on the way to the Headmaster's office, because in the movie it was also near Dumbledore's office. Hogwarts Herbology Award. In recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestows the special award upon 7th year Hufflepuff Maribel Garlic. From mandrakes to mistletoe and boob- and- Boobo tubers to bouncing bulbs. Her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Revelia. Wonder if there's any other like things I can look at in here. I guess not. We're going to the headmaster's office. And we don't get to take the fancy, like, revealing staircase. Monkey! No, that's a lock. I'm a little bit stupid. It leaves a level. Level three? Ugh! I'll have to come back. Let's take level two. Man, I need so many more monkeys. That's a weird effect. Oh, I think I'm in the cloud level, that's why. Rebellion. Oh, Gorgon. yeah, here's the entrance. That's where I need to speak the password. There's the entrance, uh, but first. Lumos. Oh, it's the entrance to the stairs. Revelio. Something here is dinging. Uh, I don't have whatever that is. Let me go back to the entrance to the stairs and get that butterfly. Is it this door? No, that's not really a doorway. Oh, it's this one. Lumos. There he is. Got him. Come on, buddy. You're coming with me. I'm gonna kidnap you and bring you to what I'm gonna assume is your rightful home. But then again, I could just be putting you in a, like, different environment that you're considered invasive in and then you'll get killed off. Not my problem. Gonna put more skill points into the dark arts. Defeating a cursed enemy restores some of your health. Hell yeah! We're going dark art build. I am a dark wizard and a dark wizard only. That's unidentified. Uh, unidentified. This one's worse. This one's also worse. Got it. Choose your pure. Let me in. Also, that seems like a very weak password to just use your family's motto. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Rebellion.
Dude, it, this looks, this is so well done. It looks exactly the same. The sorting hat. Hello. Revelia. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Okay. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? I'm gonna grab these notes. If it can. Well, well let me grab the notes. Hello? Revelio. Can I grab the note? All right, just let me grab that one. Receipt: hair tonic, mustache wax, bun bundimun pomade, comb, pearl handled, black uh, back scratcher, gold handled, dock seaside, paid in very small part, re remainder to be billed to ministry. Is this the pensive? Technically, is a black scrub. Yeah, because Phineas Black is the one using it. But you know. that must be the pedestal. Nice little Slytherin pride. It didn't let me read the note that was on the the desk, which is weird. 